by falter. Pressure like a drip, 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 better let it go. Whoa! Steam, leave me alone! No! I accidentally clicked Steam instead of freaking Opera GX, and that happens. Frickles it outside of safe surface pressure cover if I gave the pies. That was metal or rock, whatever. Hey guys, it's Simon Decker's official year and reaction video three trailers in one video. Yeah, I got webcam on. It's been a while, but yeah. I have not been in the mood to record. Every time I try to record, I end up and stuff happening and I just lose any motivation I had. The recording just goes down the toilet. So yeah. And during that time, I've been taking a break from and haven't touched any of my games. Um, Sims 4, I'm still trying to get it fixed at this point. My current issue right now is that I can only have one save in my game. I'm not even joking. Because anytime I try to make a new save and I play as soon as I place the household down, I get an infinite loading screen. I don't know what mod it is it's causing it. I have a feeling it might be more traits and casts. I mean, it's a possibility, but I haven't tested it out yet. But today, we're reacting to the three FNAF trailers that we got, because this week has been like a gold mine for the FNAF fandom. We got the movie trailer, which had to be released because someone decided to leak it. Yeah, my nails are a little bit black. The polish is fading off. I need to redo them. But anyway... Yeah, thinking they would be uh, worshipped for that. No, no, we really- no one likes spoilers. I mean, I literally got- When it came to the Super Mario movie, as soon as it was released, I literally got spoilers. Like, it wasn't even half a day out. It wasn't even out for a day. It was like half a day in, and I got spoilers all over my fucking feed. And my dad didn't take me to it, no. You know what the worst part about it was? One of his coworkers is taking his kids to see the movie. Wasn't that a big enough sign for you, Kevin? Like, holy hell. Jesus, it was annoying. So now I'm just watching clips of the movie from TikTok. Yeah, because the only movie we went to was on the day on the 26th or the 27th of December last year to see Avatar The Way of Water. Because we had, he got a gift code thing for tickets for $15 movie tickets. From his job. He works as Coca-Cola. He's a delivery driver. But, yeah. It's so fucking frustrating, though. Anyway, and the second trailer we got was for the ruined DLC of Security Breach. Now, I've already watched both those trailers before, but I wanted to record my reaction to you as well. So this is my second time watching them. And then we, of course, got Help Wanted 2, which is our third trailer. This has been a gold mine week for the FNAF community and Loki. It's awesome. I'm sorry if my recording, my audio sounds weird, um, as you can tell. Yeah. So it's gonna be a little weird. I'm sorry. Can't fix it, but then I would have to pause recording during each part to, um, change the web capture for each part so yeah um i'm gonna bring but yeah i've also been hearing people getting pissed over the fnaf trailer because the eyes now i'm gonna talk about this during the reaction so i already got the first trailer um ignore these this is for a fic i'm working on listen i just need some there's we almost we have zero fix of a car and modern day pairings, so I thought I thought to make one of my own while I wait for someone on Tumblr to post a chapter of theirs. It's not even gonna be a short story either for them. It was like <laughs> from my last heard of it, it was ten chapters and they were sixty percent done with it, the draft, and I was like, oh lordy. I mean, I'm almost two thousand words into this draft, so yeah. Uh, let me open this. Apogee X. So, yeah, I already seen this before, but yeah. Yeah, um. 
I was watching a lot of Project Zomboid during the time. So pretty much why I've been taking a break from YouTube of my own unannounced break. I'm sorry for that again. Um, I've been playing Breath of the Wild since Tears of the Kingdom came out as well. Holy fuck, Lionels are difficult. I'm doing the Shock Era quest for the Zora's Domain, and that Lionel is difficult. I died like five times in the fifth time. I was so fucking close. I just needed a break. But I also got a new video game, which was an early birthday present since next week on Tuesday is June 1st. I mean, Thursday, not Tuesday. <laughs> which is my 21st birthday. So I'm in love with the legal age getting drunk. Fuck yes. That's the only thing I'm excited about with turning 21. I can get drunk legally. I can also smoke. But yeah. Hey, almost everyone in my family smokes or drinks. And or, rather. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, in theaters and streaming on Peacock, October 27th. Honestly, they couldn't have chose a better date for the FNAF movie to come out. Because, I mean, come on, we literally, it's during the time of Halloween, which is horror. And the year before last year of Halloween, I was Glitchtrap. I was... Uncreative's version of Glitch Trap, which is from Erzlin's Fazbear Sprite. Right here. <laughs> the newest episode. I watched that and it was like, holy crap, that was some good editing work and whatnot that Urza did. Applause to her and the team. And then the year after that, I was Urza's Night Guard version. I even had the wig. So if you were at the Concord United. United Methodist Church. I probably said the name of the church wrong. I would not be surprised. I've always struggled with that. And you saw someone manning the pumpkin toss, which is just toilet paper covered with orange felt. Who had a security guard outfit and brown hair and a braid. Then yeah, that was me. I think that my worst part about it was the com was the fact I was trying to be in character so much, like, to look accurate. I had my glasses off, and I have shoddy eyesight, mind you. So I can't see where the fuck I'm at. Like, I can't even see my phone screen without my glasses. And no, I don't have contacts. I might get contacts one day, just in case. Like, colored contacts for cosplay that also have my prescription, because are super rare to find and not only that expensive as well but i might get normal contacts though so i can do some cosplay and versa for my tiktok and all that and the same thing for glitch trap speaking of the glitch trap cosplay without the gloves the bunny ears and the vest i actually do look pretty cool even with the bow tie and i made that vest myself but i might need to remake it to do embroidery though and we'll see uh can you survive Five Nights, a terrifying horror game phenomenon because of blood-chilling cinematic events as Blumhouse, the producer of Megan, the Black Phone, and the Invisible Man? Three actually really good horror movies. I haven't seen Megan, but I haven't seen them, though. I mean, I've heard of them, but I've heard nothing but good reviews for all of them. Mainly Megan and one of my friends, Wolfie. I'll link her channel in the description below. But pretty much, um, she watched it and she actually really loved it. So yeah, and she's younger than me too. <laughs> Brings Five Nights at Freddy's to the big screen. The film follows a troubled security guard as he works at, so begins working at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. While spending his first night on the job, he realizes the night shift at Freddy's won't be easy to make it through. I was expecting a little bit of this because... We always wondered why the fuck the night guard does not quit after the first night. <laughs> Any logical person who values their life would. But yeah, I did remember seeing with this though that PETA, the person who played PETA in the Hunger Games movies, was going to be, um, Michael. And I was like, oh shit. That's the leaf blower. My mom is blowing off leaves off the porch because I had to pull off leaves off my cat. Look, my basketball, my orange cat had leaves on when we got back. Okay? I'm down. So yeah, I'm sorry for that background noise. And Matthew Lillard, I think I got the name right, is William Afton. I mean, I can't think of a better 
person to play him. I mean, he was Scream and the he was Ghostface in some of those Scream old Scream movies, but he's been mainly known as Shaggy from Scooby Doo, which has caused some memes when that casting was released. I'm just hilarious. I also have heard that this movie is supposed to take place the first, second, and third games. So, suck on that, nuggets. Security creature babies. Because there's so many fans from Security Breach that think that the game is so sunshine. It's not. It's not. No. Oh, Jesus. Welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Sorry, that's Pizzeria. She's cute, fantasy though. And fun come to life. Hey, oh, guys. boy. Sunshine <laughs> button. Oh, they actually look really accurate, though. If you're watching this video, that's sign. Peter! Been selected as Freddy's newest security guard. Oh, crap, it's creepy. Hello? The camera was like, look accurate. Where's Foxy, though? So Put it behind you. Together. Oh, that was Foxy. Yeah, that's Mr. Ghost Kids. <laughs> the ball put into the pit. Yeah, the eyes. It's the eyes. I've seen so... Yeah, the eyes. People are complaining about the eyes. It's literally canon with the red eyes. The red eyes signify that they're being controlled by someone to attack. Like William or something. Or someone else. Who knows? Like, it could be anyone controlling them. William seems more the most likely, of course. But the black and white eyes, the ones with the glowing white pupils and everything else is black. That's spirit possession. I'm recording. Okay. My mom's looking for her dog. That's for spirit possession. And this is showing that they're not being controlled by the spirits, but instead by William. It's literally a canon thing. These security rage babies don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Because they can't take five minutes to do the research. Or play the other fucking games. Like, there's seven other games. You just gotta mainly focus on the first three. That's what this movie is taking place of, the first, second, and third, which includes the originals of the first, the toys, and the withers of the second, and of course the Phantom and Springtrap of the third. And we all know Springtrap is, best, is just William rotting inside the old spring body animatronic. Okay. But it's so annoying! They're comparing it to, like, the Sonic the Hedgehog movie. Like, the eyes are literally the most minor thing. Like, Plus, they're canon to have red eyes like that when they're being controlled by someone. Okay, not a spirit. So this is before possession, of course. <clears throat> I'm gonna rape her. I forgot to do that, but... Yeah. And meanwhile, Sonic, we were going to see him throughout the entire fucking movie, and he looked fucked up. So stop, so scared to be babies, please, for the love of God, stop trying to ruin the Jesus movie. This is literally Scott's last work in the FNAF franchise. We don't know what else he's going to work on, or if he's going to completely go into his retirement. Like, he could easily cancel this. I mean, he almost canceled Sister Location because of a leak. So, I think the only time he's ever caved is something was the whole Mangle thing. Then he got a fucking backbone. Because a lot of people were complaining how Mangle wasn't a girl. Because of her color palette. I feel like it was the Fangle shippers. You know, Foxy X Mangle. I don't understand it. I mean, then again, my early FNAF days, I literally, which my introduction to FNAF was the second game, I made a OC that was the, that was their kid. He's in the back rooms now. I don't give two flying fucks about him anymore. Those are my cringe Wattpad days, my early days on Wattpad, when I had no filter. And also misspelled Click's name. Michael Fink. Sorry. It's just weird. I usually look, look around my room because it's something I do when I'm bored. But, holy fuck. And 
then, of course, when it came to the other games, Funtime Foxy, they go by all the genders. And you didn't insist the occasion goes up by both he and she. So they're pretty much gender fluid. Canonically, I think. Lolbit's gender is yes, canonically. <laughs> like, they have no set gender whatsoever. They don't even go by they, them. So you just gotta use the plural thing. I don't know. So yeah. Despite Foxy sounds like a guy in Ultimate Custom Night. Hey, Alistair from Hasbro no Hasbro Hotel knockoff. You ask me. But like, holy fuck. These security breed babies fans are ruining our chances for this game for this movie. And yet there's some of these people that are backing them off, like maybe you didn't lose your ten third of a movie. We waited how many fucking years for this movie? And these security breach babies that came in from that game are trying to ruin the chances over one minor detail. And you're saying we're triggered? They're triggered over something that's supposed to be ca that's actually canon. Holy fuck. Let's analyze the rest of this. I'm gonna mute this, though. Okay, so I love the old arcade machines they use for the little video thing. The VHS tape. I'm guessing that's what this is playing off of. The mic is seeing. Which is ironic, because while I was in town, I was watching Bones, and it was something of a competitive gamer who actually cheated by using a recording of an autistic kid beating a popular old arcade game, and then taking the credit. Then the kid's dad beat him to death. I mean, could you blame him? Because autistic children get some bad shit done to them. I'm autistic myself. Just my little brother. And I'm sorry, the ball bit though. The ball bit. I thought into the pit. I'm sorry. Which is one of Scott's books. <laughs> Showtime button. Oh boy. The animatronics, they actually look really fucking spot on. They actually look really good. They look like the actual characters. Also, the fallen sign though. That's pretty cool. <laughs> we got beat up! <laughs> For those who don't know The Hunger Games, and I'm low-key surprised if you don't know The Hunger Games, Peta is one of the characters, he's the baker boy, and Katniss's future partner. You need to read the books and watch the movies. There are some things in The Hunger Games movies that actually like of a change compared to the books. I think my only one of them, the change that I liked from the, the movies changed from the books, was the one scene in the... It was Catching Fire, yeah. Where in the books it said Katniss, when she walked in for her thing, was she smelled cleaner in the room and they had the mats out. When in the movie they changed it to actually keep the mural that Peta did of, of Rue on the floor. And let's be honest, Rue was the spark for Katniss to be the Mockingjay. I mean, both Peta and Katniss are both the Mockingjay. Let's be honest. Uh, anyway. They actually did a really good job with how the place looks. Like, old school 90s pizzeria base. This is kind of for someone who's been to Chuck E. Cheese and Pizza Hut around the... They still have those vibes going on somewhat. Also, look at the little Chica cutout thing. I'm trying to find Pirate's Cove, but I can't. Yeah, check your mind a curtain. Bonnie looked blue for a second, but... We all had that thought one time. Um, Bonnie was blue. Now he's purple. It's only Toy Bonnie that's blue. The later versions are blue. They actually look really fucking accurate. Cupcake looks accurate. I'm calling Cupcake by its fan name that I feel like is the most canon Carl. Carl the Cupcake. We love Carl the Cupcake. Chica looks accurate though. They should have had some bugs crawling off her as a reference to homage to, um, FNAF VR of Help Wanted because one of the levels you gotta pull pizza and all that off of Chica and then use the chem spray against the bugs. Uh, I will admit though, Help Wanted is also a really good example that the animatronics do have red eyes canonically because they're being mind controlled. Okay, that's sign though. That looks like something that actually would do a thing. 
Also, look at the stuff on the walls. It's actually accurate. I don't see the popular the the um the desk band that's literally in every fucking game. But look at the cameras though. They even got them at the right placements. But also in some extra areas we don't see in the game, but I guess that fits for the movie security guard thing. Also, the Celebrate poster. I know that's been a thing since the first FNAF game came out, and I just got one that's like an Ultimate Custom Night theme. That has all the animatronics. I mean, it ends at the uh, security- not security breach, um, or sex location. No, it was Pizzeria Simulator, because we got the scrappy animatronics as well, the rock stars. Plus the other animatronics that came out of that game. The girl's chip and all that. Yeah, it's on my door, okay? I can't help it. Yeah, the cameras are actually in perfect places, too. And Freddy behind him just adds to that spooky fear of being controlled and all that. She does look quite... I think it's the frizzy hair that gives it away, but she reminds me of one of my classmates. She had really long, frizzy red hair. And she loved FNAF too, so yeah. I don't know if that's Springlock shit or what, but it. I saw a meme thing on Tumblr a little bit ago. It was like, say hello to the scream machine. You know, monster, same thing. Hi. <laughs> okay, so this does show they're actually adding in Foxy. Thank the gods. Foxy is my favorite animatronic in FNAF 1. It's not because of a fan service thing or whatever, no. We're both outcasts. We're both alone all the time. And also, I love foxes. They're my favorite animals alongside wolves. And I love pirates. He's combined with my favorite animal and a pirate and pirates. Of course I'm gonna love him. And there's a child there. Oh, are they gonna reenact the bite 87 with this? That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> oh, that is creepy though. I'll give it that. <laughs> okay, then we got the kids in the background with their theming outfits. Obviously, their outfits aren't accurate to actual character designs. I mean, to the lost, the um, missing kids spirits, but we never actually saw anything that would fit that shit. We never saw any actual art of it. And what they looked like before they were killed. They just looked like little 8 bit sprites. Hold on, I'll look it up for you. Uh, for now. Missing kid sprites. Uh, sprites. It's. I don't know how to spell it. spell it. Let me just go to images. I'm getting fan art. Yeah, there's also gotcha shit. Because Elizabeth was the only one along with Crying Child. I just go by Crying Child because his name has been too fucked up by the community. At this point. Gregory is also one, but he's not in the classic 8-bit style. Uh... Unsolved. Was that like. Is that something BuzzFeed Unsolved did? Uh, they had the difficult 8 bit sprites, but there was nothing that made them stand out of that 8 bit sprite. The 8 bit sprite. So, as you can imagine, yeah. I would have loved for them to actually wear the mask that matched the, car the animatronic they possess. It's been a common theme with the fandom, but I'm not sure how canon it is. They run as soon as he looks at him. Matthew Lillard. I've mainly known him as Shaggy from the live-action Scooby-Doo. That's what he's been mainly known as. I know he's popular in his role of Scream in, in the Scream movies for Ghostface and all that. But, like, the amount of times when his role was announced as William Afton... I've seen so many people that were triggered that people are knowing him as Shaggy. 
But, like, dude, just, we get it. Learn to take a fucking joke. I'm, so, like, sorry if he's more noticeable as Shaggy than in Scream. Like, I mainly knew him as Shaggy. Dude. Monsters Unleashed is my favorite. I did love the high school version of uh, Scooby-Doo. That was my favorite. Please tell me someone remembers that version of Scooby-Doo. It's a live action. But I still know well, even if I didn't know he was from Scream and all that. Even if he was known for Shaggy from Scooby-Doo. I know this man is perfect for a role. For this role as William Afton. Panic Attack PETA. So this might actually enter another night guard. This could be phone guy. Then we got the ball pet scene. So yeah, this is also something with the animatronics. Showing that they're being controlled by someone. Because in the games, they're more prone to attacking the adults than the children. Because they know their murderer was an adult. So pretty much William is controlling to even kill the kids. So yeah. So yeah. Suck it up, fuckers. Alright, next is the Ruin DLC. Oh, I forgot Ape and Ryan. Yeah, I haven't watched Ape and Ryan in a long while. Also, I find this very, very impossible to be pop even happen, but Ape and Ryan, if you're watching, despite how impossible it is, could you please, for the love of God, continue your medieval, re your 2019 medieval remaster LP? Please. <laughs> please, I've been what? I've been waiting for for the next episode of that because finally someone on YouTube and my a popular YouTuber is actually knows medieval. That's my fucking childhood. It was my first video game of the PlayStation One version. And so of course when the 2019 remake came out, I was super excited. Could you play me? No. <laughs> yeah, I didn't fully watch this. I just wanted to get it in my watch history. So yeah. Uh, there is the RAM thing for Steel Bowl. Brought me back, I got Colt with a lamb. That's an early birthday gift, so yeah. Surprisingly, despite it's my first ever birthday gift I ever gotten, so yeah. Oh, that is loud. Oh! Oh, we're fucked. What is that? Okay, the endos are still there. Chica looks more fucked. They all look more fucked. Okay, she had the ability to hold it closed for a little long. Whoa. <gasps> Freddy? <gasps> Bigger than it! Oh, Vanny Mask. Don't give up on me yet. Oh? July 2023, so it's coming up. After next month. Free DLC to Scared of Breach. So the DLC is free. Okay, let's analyze this. So we immediately see our girl Cassie. I can't tell that sunlight coming from outside, but also, um, is that cardboard or newspapers? Who knows? Surprise enemies look good. Still looks so good. Whoa, graffiti is there too, I just noticed. <laughs> I mean, people ballsy with little will to live with Fazbear Entertainment go in there just to graffiti. Tagging. Okay. I'm curious to know how the fuck all this electronic stuff is working, like the lighting, the animatronics still functioning, you think? Well, the state of this pizzeria is, with all the mildew and all that. There's even actual plants growing inside there. Like, not the fake plastic ones they have for the Monty Golf Course. But, like, actual plants, like it's supposed to be something from a post-apocalypse shit. Which begs the question of those electronics still somehow working. There's still power there somehow. 
the animatronics still functioning somewhat, despite their how bad they're fucked up after security breach. How the fuck? But also, how the f It takes years. Hell, I think a s It takes God knows how long of years t for that to happen. Hold on. Let me look this up. How long does it take for plants to grow? I can't spell a shit. Yeah. Uh, the project is called green roofing. Grow on buildings. It would take within 20 the short story is that within five years I started looking at for within 20 years. Uh, nature. See, it takes like the short story is that within five years. It would take five years for that. So how the fuck does Gregory still sound as young as he is in the first in the actual game? I'm so confused how the fuck these things electricity still working. How the hell is some of this plumbing stuff is working too? That would have been rusted away malfunctioning. I guess the animatronics are still trying to do their job, like the maintenance bots and all. But soon those maintenance bots will fall apart. Okay, the daycare actually looks probably the cleanest. I'm not surprised knowing Sundrop and Moon, they both look clean. Everything else looks fucked up. How many people are risking their lives just to fucking tag graffiti and all that? In a abandoned pizza plex. With Fazbear Entertainment, that is the lawyer, the god tier lawyers. They're jumping through the, the tiniest hoops possible of OSHA violations, lawsuits. Let's not forget the whole thing with one of their two founders that opened the company it was a child murderer trying to fuck around with immortality as if it was a good thing. It really is not. And then these fun time animatronics as well that he made are designed, built, and programmed to lure and kill children. <laughs> Holy fuck. That is a creepy cupcake. Okay. The animatronics actually look a lot worse than after picking their parts in the end of Security Breach to help upgrade Freddy and all. Now that's a new device. Because we normally had, in the first game, we had the, in the actual Security Breach game, we had the Faz Watch. And we had... Little with the flashlight as well. We had the little phaser blaster gun that would temporarily paralyze the opponent. People approaching. Alright, the endos are still the same. They look exactly the same. It does not surprise me. Do you think there have been some change in them? Chica looks fucked up still. Okay, so I guess okay, that's another way to security camera station. Okay. Cause in the main security breach game before this DLC. Uh, you used your Faz watch to check the security cameras. Holy crap. Okay. So that's something with maintenance. So... I need to look at this. Uh... Okay, Cassie is her name. So Gregory and Cassie are... Communicating with the walkie-talkies that are somehow pristine, I don't know, and functioning. Here, they more sure to fuck that up. Nope. The video game logic. So that might be a possibility that we can switch back and forth to playing Gregory or Cassie. So that'd be pretty cool. Yeah, that's one of the fucked up maintenance bots. Monty's still fucked with no legs. Chica still looks fucked. Okay, look at this. Kid had some strength, though. Like, that's a little kid holding the animatronic's jaw closed like that. That's pretty cool. Now, that is making me think back to the blob, which 
the main head we see in the cutscene when we like, in one of the endings of the game had Molten Freddy's head that I merely know that. It was either Molten's head or regular Freddy's head that like hanged up and kept him in the fire of the pizza plex. So that's either the blob or that's Burn Trap. Either that or Burn Trap is controlling the blob. Who knows? Freddy looks fucked. So that might be a possibility Freddy is has been controlled by the virus with how damaged he is too. Or he's on our side, yeah. But this is also a possibility of Roxy <laughs> being on our side. And I've seen a lot of comics and whatnot with Gregory getting the other animatronics on his side and holy crap and art and all that. Plus some fanfiction, I can't help it. But holy fuck, it's awesome. I think my favorite ones include the daycare attendant because we were all hoping that they would be good. They are. The moon is just infected by the virus. Sun isn't. Though, yeah. But I have a question with that shit though. How the Why the fuck are the lights attached to the fucking security keycard thing? That could have been a Vanessa thing. But who knows. So we might have the possibility of repairing Roxy enough, maybe, and also having her on our side. And of course, we got Daycare Dington back. He looks creepy. And he looks half and half of both Moon and Sun. Plus, look at his arms. Those deeks. So I'm thinking Sun is trying to peek out of Moon to regain control since there's no lights in the pizza plex. Or the virus actually managed to leave both of them. Mainly Moon, of course. So now they're both friendly. I mean, we've all hoped for a second game. Like a sequel to this game in some way. Where the daycare attendant would be an ally. I remember one of the concepts I read, that I've heard of, like, when the lights go out, and having to deal with Moon. You would have a whole thing of try with the virus so taking over Moon, you would have to rush to get the lights back on or into the um recharge stations to avoid Moon. And while some was helping, of course. But I do love the glow stick arms, it's pretty cool. <laughs> okay, and we're actually gonna use Vanny's mask for this to see around the map. But that might cause those hallucinations things, because that mask might be connected to glitch trap. That's pretty cool, though. How long have I been recording for? Uh, oh, 37 minutes. <laughs> this is just for me analyzing and also talking before the first trailer. Okay, next one is the Help Wanted 2 game. Oh, modern anyway. Give me strength. Great spirit, give me strength. Oh, sister location. We know how challenging it can be to find a place where you feel that you Mark might love this. Find a job that treats you mostly with respect and only infrequently with contempt. For that reason, we are excited to inform you that you did an adequate enough job the first time around to have you back. Oh, This is my pure reaction to this. I haven't fully watched it, just to get on my history. Ain't seen nothing yet. I knew I had a good reason to turn down my headset! I had a feeling there's something about to happen that I'm going to have to turn down my headset. And I was right, it was that jump scare. So this might be upgrading some of the, um the levels in the game and also adding more of the avatars from the other games as well because in the original help wanted they had some reference to the other games in certain ways like vent repair you would get entered through the after being the first vent repair level which had mangle uh the 
light one? It was with the flashlight that I knew that much. But you would have to, um, be Funtime Foxy, like the whole VR thing of walking you through the Funtime Auditorium. So we might actually get this with more levels included, which include the other games. I do hope for a secured, for a, not a security version, but a Pizzeria Simulator version. Pizzeria Simulator is honestly my favorite FNAF game. And I don't say that because two of them drawn as I see as my fictional kids are in it. <clears throat> Lefty, Molten Freddy, don't ask, please. I just, it just happened randomly, and for some reason I just see them in my kids. It's mainly focused towards... The famous film has been half with Invisible Davis voicing Molten and Don and Don were quiet of voicing. Lefty, who's not killed off. Uh, thank you, Google Assistant, for the good thing. Right. But that is actually really cool. I thought there was going to be more to analyze. I knew I had a, feel, a reason to turn down. A movie, a DLC, and a new game. Truly the best year for FNAF. <laughs> Can't wait to see Matt Patsman many long hours in Titanus Hour trying to figure out the lore of this game. Well, Markiplier accidentally saw us holding 20 minutes. <laughs> Not for real. Mark pretty much unintentionally, though, planned out the lore of FNAF. I think Scott actually got the ideas for the lore from Mark. <laughs> the king of Planets of Vities. 2019 was a hit though for me. We got help wanted, and I also, and we also, for my very nostalgic heart feeling sense, got the 2019 remastered Medieval, and that's honestly my that honestly got some good childhood stuff at me because Medieval was my very first video game, and I still it still has a place in my heart to this day. Though I do prefer Resurrection over the original, which is a little bit sad but true. I am still happy we got the 2019 remaster, the first game, and I hope they do make a remaster for Medieval 2, believe it or not. Yeah, pretty much the one that adds in Kia. I do hope they use some old concept art for Kia, because one of the old concept art I saw of her, um, I'm pulling this up because I got, I got off a of Tumblr and I saw it. But let me find it. I don't know if my screen will allow me, but this is from some concept art I saw in Deviant Art. And I wanted to show it, so let me just make my webcam bigger so you can guys see this. Alright, but it's fit to screen, so whatever. Uh yeah. This is basically the concept art. Let it focus. Focus. Webcam focus. Focus. Yeah, the sunlight is not helping. Let me do. Yeah, uh, that was basically going to be her plan. One of the concept art she had. Uh, which, honestly, I like a lot better than the official art. That's the wrong one. And I would have loved this a lot better than her official art. The, the actual design we got. The dress thing, though, was actually supposed to be her going into Kingston to the actually the Whitechapel area of the game. You know, where you take on I'm trying to remember. It was Yeah, it was Jack the Ripper in the game. And then after the first part, you unlock the ability to try and travel to a certain point in the game. I think. I never got a chance to play Medieval 2. I'm sorry. I only played one in Resurrection. I never played Medieval 2 myself. I just watched some gameplay, but I haven't watched that ever. But yeah. There was also with that a storyline to that, you would unlock the tra time traveling of scene from a underground a society that worshipped Dan like a god. And he would go back in time before Kia was ambushed by Jack the Ripper, and then there was a whole boss fight. Kia was more like a walking target than anything, because he had to make sure she was healed, and he also had to fight Jack at the same time. That was pretty cool, though. When I remember. I do remember some concept of the actual fight, 
in fan fiction where they make Kia not a walking target, but actually do some damage to the Ripper. Like, that would be a cool thing for Medieval 2, though. But, yeah, uh... Oh, these three trailers. I feel like 2015 all years. Eight later, later. So, for now, can't deliver it. Please never stop. As most of the fans did not expect this nowhere and thought the health one is film it was fully made and completed, but now here we are. I've never got a sequel for it. It's not the one, if not one of the best FNAF series. This one is the same as the actual slave. Our horror one gave a few years ago. I feel like FNAF will never die. FNAF will never die, let's be honest. <laughs> In the words of William Afton, I always come back. I made a smart decision drinking out of that said my Burger King. Yeah, that's completely water. Water down, Dr. Pepper. Nowhere? Yeah, it did come out of nowhere. Yeah, this literally came out of nowhere. I saw someone was talking about Help Wanted 2 on my Tumblr feed, and I, was, I had to double check, and then I reblogged the caption saying, what you mean, help wanted? What do you mean, help wanted too? And then this came on my feed, my YouTube feed, and I got very fucking happy. So yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. This was actually really unexpected. I'm not complaining. I'm actually really happy. But holy fuck, this week has been like a gold mine for every FNAF fan. We got the movie we all finally waited so long for. We got the DLC to Security Breach with the possibility that the daycare attendant and or Roxy might be on our side, or the combat, or the ability, or the possibility to get all the animatronics on our side, which would be pretty cool. But also having to fight to get Freddy back, which would be awesome. I find it ironic though that Kellen Goff, who voiced Glamrock Freddy, also voiced um, Overhaul. The English voice, act voice actor for Overhaul of My Hero Academia, who is a child abuser. We know how, what it, how he's treated Yuri in the anime and the manga. <laughs> he just went from a child hater to someone who loves children, just dead. <laughs> he also did voice Fenton Freddy and Bolton Freddy, so there's that. But I did find that pretty fucking cool, though. Uh, and then of that, on top of those two, we got Help Wanted too. <laughs> This is actually pretty cool. I think Mark is having a field day himself, too. Like, the King of Finance of Fridays with FNAF movie. That would be pretty cool to see him at the premiere. Just the King of Finance of Fridays at the FNAF movie premiere. That would be fucking awesome. If no celebrities shit talk Mark of it, though, then that would be the best. I think the one celebrity they need to talk shit on... Is Kim Kardashian of her fake fat ass ruining Merlin Mer Monroe's dress? She had the money to remake that, to make her own version of that dress that would fit. But no, she had to get the only one that actually existed, ruined it by ripping it. With her fake ass. That, like, the only person who I think has a real ass that's that big is Wario. Not the dude. A video game character, too. And another sad thing of it, they weren't going to give it to her, and then she called her mom to bribe them. <sighs> That's why I hate the rich, they can get away with fucking anything. Because they have the money to do so. And on top of that, it didn't even fit the theme of the event she wore it to. Like, fucking hell. Like, it's why I hate the Kardashians. The American royalty. And I hate it. <clears throat> but, yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to have this video upload while I work on my um, card as modern new fic, and I have I have bone watch playing off my phone on my Hulu. Look, if I keep enough distractions on me, I'm I'm not experiencing emotions. And that's fine. <laughs> but I might get distracted with playing Gold the Lamb, so there's that. I will try to do a sim video today. I make no promises. Especially with next week, Thursday, is going to be my 21st birthday. Despite the fact I have never celebrated my birthday. It never gets celebrated. I wish that was a joke, but it's not. <laughs> but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry, Nightcrush Official. I will see you, my bitches and her hoes, and my fellow FNAF fans later. Peace, motherfuckers.